Hey guys, my name's Samuel Lee. I'm a property investor and a lot of people say that I just got super lucky because I bought my very first house and I bought it and I refinanced it the same day I bought it. I bought it below market value, refinanced it the same day, pulled all of my money out. I used a company called Mortgage Express and that meant that it was a no money down deal. I then rented it out room by room, made a thousand pound a month off it. That was my first house. People said I got lucky. And the reason they say that is because shortly after I bought my first house that way, they brought in this rule, which is called, or everyone calls it, the new six month rule. Now the new six month rule is not that new. In fact, it's really, 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 really old. And what the six month rule is, is all mortgage companies, all lenders said from now on, if you wanna buy a house and you wanna refinance the house, you've got to wait six months before you can refinance a house. And it kind of killed the strategy at the time. And I remember everyone saying, the days of free houses are over, you know. And that was it. So maybe I did get lucky. However, the people that make the rules are the same people that make money in property. And something that the media didn't really talk about too much was when they changed the rules again, which they did more recently. And I'm just gonna tell you guys about this because for me, I'm, I'm making a lot of money off the back of this and not many people really seem to know about this, but they actually changed the rules again last year and the six month rule now no longer applies, which means that you can now buy a house and refinance it, pulling all of your money out and you don't have to wait six months anymore to do that. So, I mean, there's, there's, there's there's quite a few mortgage lenders that do this. One of them is Kent Reliance. Um, also, you wanna check out Precise Mortgages. That's, um, I've done a recent deal with them. And if you're just completely confused about what on earth I'm talking about, then let me just keep this really simple, okay? Imagine if a bank said to you that they would give you 100% of the money to buy a house. Now, as far as I've been in property, this has never happened. Lenders don't say this, but if a lender did, if they said to you, hey, I'll give you 100% of the money for you to go and buy a house and then rent that house out. And the, the, the interest, typical banks, the interest that you have to pay is around about 3%. As long as you can find a house where the return is more than 3%, and if you can't, you, you suck, then you're gonna be making an infinite return on investment. And the bank's funding the house, but it's your house. So when the house goes up in value, you benefit, not the bank. You pay them 3%, anything above 3%, you'll keep. And I, I mean, just to put this into perspective, my houses give me 20% return on investment in some cases. So if the bank said that, I think you would, unless you're stupid, you would be able to go and buy an unlimited amount of houses, make an unlimited amount of money, and, and, and just wait for the pr prices to go up with the houses. The problem is the banks don't say that. The banks say that they'll only lend you typically 70, 80%. So you've got to cough up that initial 20, 25% deposit yourself. And the reason people don't buy property investments is because they don't have that 20, 25% deposit. Because let's say a house is 100 grand. I mean, the average house is 200 grand, but say 100 grand and you need 20%, that's still 20,000 pounds plus legal fees. So it's a substantial chunk of money. So what smart investors do instead, because they don't, no one has unlimited money. So what they do is they buy a house for a hundred grand, they put down their 20 grand, but then what they do is they add value to the house. So they lift the value of the house by fixing a problem. Maybe fixing, maybe there's no kitchen and there's no sink and there's no taps and it's a bit rubbish. Or maybe there's a, a legal issue. There's a flying leasehold or a, or a covenant on the property that's keeping the price low. So they fix that problem and then the, they force the value of the house up. Once the value of the house has gone up, what they do is they then get a new mortgage, a new buy to let loan, based on the new value, which means it's a lot higher. So 70% of the new value is 100% of the original value which you paid, which means that you're buying a house and then you're refinancing it and you're pulling out 100% of the money that you put in, which is called recycling your money so you can do that and then do that again and again and again and again. Now, that's what smart investors do. Most investors think you have to wait six months to refinance. You don't, they scrap that rule. So 
I just, I, just wanted, I just felt like I had to share this with you guys because so many people think that I have to save deposit to buy a house and then save again. And other people think that the six month rule is still out there when it's not. As long as you add value to the house in the meantime, you can buy a house, you can add value to it, and then the following week, you can pull your money out, which is just exciting. So if you've got questions around that, comments, thoughts, if you want me to do more videos about different aspects to this strategy, then I would love to hear your thoughts below. So just drop a comment below. Let me know exactly what you want to learn, exactly what questions you have. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you're going to do this, let me know. And um, I'll tailor my videos specifically to you so you can succeed in your property journey on the basis that when you go and succeed, you tell me because your success is my oxygen. Guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I really feel like you need to understand as an investor what bridging finance is. So I've done a video around bridging finance right here. Check it out. Also, if you'd like to spend two days at the Property Investors Crash Course, tailoring your strategy and actually finding live deals, book onto the Crash Course right here. And don't forget to subscribe over here.